Alright, hey guys, Abomination9 here. We're back playing some more Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. We left off. We opened up Servants of the Kings, which we'll be doing again. And we got uh, Forbidden Chalice, I believe. And. I don't remember what the other one was called. Uh. Not that one. It was Force Raider. Cool. Wait, what's his defense? 1200. Meh. So we're going to be opening up another 20, possibly. Depending on what we get, that was a single Creeb. New space in Flare Scarab again, which uh, this card gets one attack for each spell and trap card your opponent controls, which is me. Vampire Koala, whoops. I skipped Vampire Koala, but I think when he attacks a monster that then does piercing damage to the opponent and gain life or something like that, Machina Cannon, whoa. No attack, but defense is okay. But cannot be normal summoned or set. Must first be special summoned from the hand by sending one or more Machina type monsters from your hand to the graveyard. This card gains 800 attack for each card sent to the graveyard from this special summon. Hmm, that's okay. Haven't seen him yet. Ooh, blue tint on this one. Genix Power Planner. This card is normal summons. You can add one level three Genix effect most from your deck to your hand. Dedication through light and darkness. And Magna Canaan once again. Was the other one hollow? The other one must have been hollow since that one was not. And it still said new. Don't like creator. This card is summoned. You can create a number of ice counters equal to the number of water monsters you control. Place them on a face of monster your opponent controls. Then. If you place three or more ice counters by this effect, you can destroy one card your opponent controls. Gen X Blast Fan. And... Mechanical Chaser. Which, it's a machine type. Defense is pathetic, but its attack is... Supremely above average. Because 1800 would be above average, but just 50 alone is... Ridiculously... Like, the difference between uh, a win or a loss, so... It's a great card. We'll definitely be going into machine deck, I don't, though, I don't know. I guess I should make a new machine deck for Bandit, keep my old one, but then have a second one for him. Feral Imp... Uh, I didn't uh, say his effect. Destral Imp was his name, I believe, and his effect was when he flips... Uh... God, what is... what was it? I don't remember. We'll, we'll read it later if we come across it or afterwards. Swarm of Crows. This is a one cost, though if you can somehow drop a card level, he can be free. His defense, is, defense and attack are subpar because he's a one cost and cannot be special summoned from the deck. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flip summoned, discard one random card from your opponent's hand. It's okay. Gen X Turbine. Subpar, but while well, you control this face of card, all face of Gen X monsters you control gain 400, so that's pretty good. This whole Gen X series going on. I wish we could actually play four cards like you're supposed to instead of three, because then it would make these Gen X cards even better. For any comboing cards, where you're supposed to have multiple types of them. Dedication through Light and Darkness, Gen X Worker, and Gen X Turbine. Cross Porter, you can send one monster you control to the graveyard, but summon one Neo Spacing monster from your hand. When this card is best sent to the graveyard, you can add one Neo Spacing monster from your deck to your hand. Swarm of Crows again, and System Down. This is a, just a normal spell. Pay 1,000 life points. Banish all machine type monsters your opponent controls and in their graveyard. That's a good machine counter, I guess. So if you're going up against Bandit, specifically, this is a good card. So if you want to grind level 40 bandits out, well then there you go. We're getting really unlucky. Gen X Worker... Ah, oh, here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Go Giga Gakagiko. So this is the third Gakagiko that I've seen. There's just Gakagiko normal. Then there's like the... Uh, one cost, I believe, Gakagiko. That's supposed to be not necessarily evil, but it says like he sacrificed everything 
to help his friends, I think, but it made him evil or something. I don't know. I was like, he went down the wrong path of power or something, but here, his soul long since collapsed, his body recklessly continues onward, driven by a lust for more power, he no longer resembles his formal se former self. Alright. So he's super strong, it's just like, here's a really strong reptile. Period. End discussion. Though it's unfortunate that his story is not a happy ending. I'm assuming this will be the last Gakagiko. And Machine Sniper, which... Uh, not Machine Sniper, Makina Sniper. Makina Monsters you can, cannot be attacked except for Sniper. Because I think the original Gakagiko card is him, like... He gave up a life of crime to become a hero or something, to do good deeds, something like that. And then... Uh, there's Despero M, because I'm talking, not concentrating on the cards. I forgot to read his card again. Uh, but yeah, he was like, he became good, but then like he needed power to help people, I guess, and that power drove him crazy. And then now we find this last card where he's just like, he's just a corpse, basically. A power-seeking corpse. When the set card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by opponent's card effects, shuffle this card into its owner's deck and then draw one card. And a Mystic Swordsman level 4, which I think we have two, two twos, two fours, and like 20 level 6s. Cannot be normal summoned, but can be normal set. At the start of the damage step of this card is attack, attacked, a face down defensive position monster, destroy the monster during the end phase of this card, destroyed a monster by battle of this turn. You can send this face up card to the graveyard. It's supposed to summon one Mystic Swordsman level 6 from your hand or deck. Uh, another Snow Dragon, when this card is destroyed by battle or by a card effect, and sends a graveyard plus one ice counter on each face-up monster on the field. Air Cracking Storm, equip only to a, a machine-type monster. When this attacking monster destroys your opponent's monster by battle, you can activate this effect. It can make a second attack during the battle uh, phase. The other monsters cannot attack this turn. You activate this effect, and a second system down. Cool, I might actually make a anti-bandit deck now. We're getting really unlucky. A cross border, near spacing, and flare scare. We have a full set of those now. Dark Blade of the Captain of the Evil, which now we have a full set of that. Which is 1800 no cost, which is above average. Once per turn, you can banish one dark monster from your graveyard to target one level 4 lower light monster your opponent controls. Equip it to this card. You can only equip one monster at a time to this card with suspect that this card is on the field. Would be destroyed. The monster equipped to it with this effect is destroyed instead. And that was it, so we got, actually got nothing good out of the set, except for... Okay, we can read this now. Target one card in your graveyard, shuffle that target into your deck, display it out. Um... Uh, Mechanical Chaser is okay, and where's Gakagiko? And, of course, our fallen hero, Gakagiko. Or Gakagiko, yeah, Gakagiko. We have a fourth koala, which we don't need. Uh, so yeah, I like System Down's okay for Anti-Bandit. Hopefully we can get another set of... Gakagikos. Triple Creeps. Oh, we're gonna get our Ultra Rare finally. So, Yellow Tint. No face, though. Maybe we're gonna get a Super Rare. Despo Imp again. Hero Metal. And Draining Shield, yeah, Super Rare, that's what I thought. There's Gakagiko, but that's the second iteration of him, not his final form. When an opponent monster declares an attack, target the attacking monster, negate that attack, and if you do, gain life points equal to the target's attack. Jesus Christ. I think I've had this card used on me by the AI, like, a lot in the last, like, couple weeks. There's so many cards now, or at least with the, um, the new expansion where it's just like, I attack, it's like, no, go screw yourself. I activate my trap, and you, your attack has been negated, or your attack gives me something and is negated, or your attack is negated and the monster that the attack gets killed. And it's like, what? Really? Because I think, um... The white... Not, is he white-haired guy? The... Whoever the white-haired guy is from the GX series, he uh, has those weird heroes, not the normal heroes, but his own special destiny heroes or whatever. I forgot what they're called. But it's like when you attack a destiny hero, 
destroy the monster that they negate the attack and destroy the monster. It's like, what? Are you joking? Genix Power Planner, Genix Blast Fan, and another Mechanical Chaser Cool. Going into that ma second uh, machine deck for Bandit, Triple Kareebs. We haven't got any Kareeb uh, Explosion, though we got Hieroglyphics and Yellow Tint here. And Alexis Bamface. Snow Dragon. Sweet, we got our Gogiga, Gaga Giko. And our Manier Bug. Oh, it's not Manier Bug, but it is Dark Magician of Chaos. Which is just as good. So, our ultra rare for this set during the end phase. This card is normal, especially summon this turn. You can target one spell card in your graveyard as it added to your hand. You can only use this effect of Dark Magician. Okay, also once returning, this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle. After damage calculation, banish that monster if this face of card leaves the field and banish it instead. So, good card, it's just no nostalgic nonsense. Air Cracking Storm, White Tiger Summoner, which I don't think I've read this one this time around. So, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your hand. All monsters you control gain 100 attack and defense. And Genix Turbine. How about you hit me up with that main in your bug, please? Swarm the Crows, Machina Soldier. When this card is normal summon, when you control no other monsters, you can special summon one Machina monster from your hand except Machina Soldier. And Genetic Turbine. So I think now that I got, um... The Dark Magician of Chaos, I think I'm gonna re reset this, uh, mini box. Since I've lost a couple of super rares. Sweet, we got three! Gogiga Gagagikos. So we can start our, uh, Reptile deck. Gen X Worker, and a fourth Elemental Hero, Flare Neos. Probably one of the worthless, most worthless cards ever. I'm not even going to give him the justification of reading it. Hero Metal, Swarm of Crows, and a third and final Enraged Battle Ox, I believe. If a Beast, Beast Warrior, or Winged Beast type monster you control, attack a defense position monster, inflict ba uh, piercing battle damage to your opponent. White Tiger Summoner, a fourth uh, Gogika Gagagiko. And another elemental here, Fla uh, hero Flare Neos, which I think is the fifth one. I know there's another fusion super rare in here, so can you start giving me these, this useless trash and actually give me a card that's worth something? I mean, I, he's all right for like a turn one attack, but other than that, like I think he's useless. Vampire Walla, which I don't think I read this, so. This card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by battle with a monster, gain light points equal to the battle damage inflicted. Hero Metal. And a third system down, so sweet, we have a, a full set of these, so... An anti-bandit deck is super viable now. Single Kareeb. No special tints or anything. But we got that Ultra Rare Cells, so we can't really expect much more. Dedication through Light and Darkness. Genix Power Planner. And a, like... 20,000th Mythic, Mystic, oh my god, why am I saying that word? Mystic Swordsman level 6. So, nothing too crazy. We got our full set of Gagagikos, though. Is there. We can't look at the related cards, but we can look them up later. We got Dark Magician of Chaos, of course, which is going on the thumbnail. Uh, we also got Draining Shield, which is much appreciated. I gotta figure out what the set is where the second form of Gakagyo is, so I can uh, use him. We okay, got Rage, Battle Locks, which is okay. We do have a three set of that. We got two Mechanical Chasers, which is good. We have five of these useless fusions. We have two of these now. We got two of those. We have like 8,000 of these. 8,000 of these, too. So yeah, that was alright. Though, before we go, see, I've gotten three super rares and that, so I think I'm, res I'm gonna reset this box. Okay, right, cool. But again, before we go, I would like to look at all the Gakukikos that I have. Yeah. 
Uh, is it Gaga Giko? Like that. That was not correct. Then let's just go with Gaga Giko, because I think it's... Yeah, there we go. Wait, where's the other one? Do I not have the other one? So, I have three of these, and I have a full set of those. Did I never get the second one? Oh my god, you're joking me. So here's, yeah, so let's go through the entire, like, history here. We have, the young evildoer used to be an evil heart, but by meeting a special person, he discovered justice. So, I'm assuming that means... I guess you could take that two ways, like... See, so he used to be evil, which is why I say, oh, he became good. But you could also take this as, he discovered justice, as in, justice was served to him, and now he's imprisoned or something. I was like, I read it as he was evil, but then someone changed him and he became good. But then, in order to fight evil, he gained formidable power through body reconstruction, but lost his heart and his redemption. So he was evil, but then became good. And then he needed to take and use power to actually defeat a really strong force that was evil. But he lost his soul in the process. And then he became super evil again so he started off evil and just ends up being evil anyways because of power i guess maybe he's not evil maybe he's neutral chaotic neutral i don't know i don't know how those terms go but meh i think it's pretty cool though how the heck did i not what set are you from generation next wow that's why because i've skipped over generation next like 20 times now okay well i guess Guess who's opening Generation Next in the next episode instead of uh, another one of that? So then the, this is a huge box, so the likelihood of me getting Gakagiko is like impossible. Where is it? There he is, right there. Like, I need to get this card. I need the full set of Gakagikos. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, tune into the next episode. Like, subscribe, comment. You have to do. See ya.